A very good afternoon to you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Black and Finish live streaming platform. We are having today a 16-man competition that is happening here at Roxbury Bar and Restaurant, Chiwanga, Village, Makono District in the East African country of Uganda. The tournament favorite, pre-tournament favorite, Ibrahim Sejemba, is taking on Mark Mochivi. They are, as per well, the regulations of the tournament, racing to seven for a place in the quarterfinals. My name is Peter Chobe. It is 1 nil and it is Ibra leading. Mark equalizes right now. Ibra 1, Mark Mochivi 0. Welcome, share to the stream. Tag a friend to tell a friend. This one may not be as straightforward as expected. It may be very competitive mark is a very decent player in his own right he is so far drawing one one with ibra who for today decides to surprise us with a very unusual dress code having a headgear cream in color with a jumper around his body of course it has been a very cold morning and afternoon around 50 fans are so far watching and as the day grows older they are expected to become even more and this is youtube you can decide to improve the quality of your video by going to the settings and then increase the picture resolution go to settings as long as you touch the picture touch the screen there will be so many icons that display the one on the top right is for settings go to settings select quality and then go to advanced then select the highest possible figure the higher the figure you pick the better the video but the more data you use ibra one mark one live commentary is proceeding shortly Thank you. 
Mark Machivi, the guy you are watching right now, is one of those less known but very decent players, especially in the attacking sense of the game. He has played for two pool clubs, including Sinkers and the Captain Knight, both in one season, the only season in which he has been playing in the Uganda Pool League. But a decent player in his very own right. He's one of the guys who gave Caesar a very bloody nose the time that Caesar came back from Zambia to play in Uganda when he was so rampant in terms of winning. He actually defeated Caesar in two comps in one month. One of them, the Totez weekly comp at Club Totez in Chireka and the other at La Mario's in Chitentari, both in Kampala. He was an underdog in both, but he took out Caesar. So you are prompted to think that he can take out Ibra. Of course, this one is a longer race to seven. You would imagine that Mark's strengths and weaknesses, Ibra's strengths and weaknesses will all come out. That's why I think at the end of the day, Ibra may be a little bit too much for him in a longer race, but you can never say never. You may also need to increase the light complexion of your phone if you're watching from the, from the phone. Maximum possible light, maximum possible video resolution in the settings, then be sure you will be watching an excellent picture. Mark gets two shots out of Ibra 2 unexpected shots i think he is more determined than i initially thought to try and take down ibra this place where we are playing is ibra's new home arena it is where the tournament is sponsored by his club boss he is pretty much the home player The free shot by Mark will go down as a poor free shot because his intention was to move white ball to the part of the table closest to you where he could comfortably put the two of the yellows, one in the corner pocket, the other in the center pocket. He finds himself snookered and he can't put either of them. He will have to play a shot which brings back the white ball to this other half of the table. This time, if he gets himself snookered, he may not have another chance. The attempt to fetch the white ball to the second part of the table once again ends in failure. The only ball he could have potted, he is again snookered. One of the poorest ways to utilize two shots. More is a blessing, you say, I no longer update and upload Caesar's journey to South Africa. Caesar left South Africa a long time ago, came back to Uganda and is now in Kenya. Had started being one with six in a race to 16 in a money match yesterday and lost it 16-15. He will be rematching with Ben one tomorrow. And after then, he's expected to return to Uganda. He's also there not only to play many matches, but also to train on Chinese pool table, which are plentiful in Nairobi here in Kampala. There's only one Chinese pool table. Remember, in about two months' time, he will be going to China with other players, by the way, to participate in the World Hay Ball Championships. I will also tell you that myself and my partner, are working on bringing Ganda Ganda here to play many matches with some Ugandans. Keep your fingers crossed, I will not be spilling anymore before stuff is ready. But yes, around three weeks something could be happening.
in that direction junior mj thank you for watching john bosco felix Madzikanda, you say it's cold there because of a brass dress code. Yes, it has been very cold, but the coldness has now gone away. As Ibra now plays back for the second time in the match, he rarely misses a shot like that one. Ibra two, Mark one. William Wansa, thank you for watching. Betty Tabitha, always watching. Ben on Lennon asking about scores for Mansur. Mansur has not yet played. I've actually not seen him around the table, around the place. But he has a match against Lawrence Sengong, the guy who lost the money match to Pacquiao the other day. On Sunday, we shall be having another 16 man comp. But with the money twice as much as today, it's a bigger one at Laban's Arena. In Namulanda, Mugisha Josemi, thank you for watching. Mark to break. He does the old school break, drawing the white ball backwards while hitting the top ball, and it ends in a dry break.
In the meantime, we are just under 100 more subscribers to remove. We are under 100 subscribers from removing all restrictions that YouTube puts on channels with less than 1,000 subscribers. Amongst the restrictions, there is a limit to how many people can watch a live video. At the same time, there is a limit to how many comments can appear along a live video and the live video is also placed in a private mode after the streaming has ended so the way we can remove those restrictions is by subscribing so as to raise the 1000 subscribers subscribers much we are on 900 or so so i request you politely if you have not yet subscribed to subscribe such that we remove restrictions from this platform by raising the 1000 subscribers mark such that we are free to watch as many as possible such that we are free to watch for as long as possible and to have as many comments as possible imagine when ganda ganda finally comes here and then you are locked out of the live stream because of the number of subscribers so please just keep it cool by subscribing to the platform you'll also be able to get notifications of all videos when live thank you in advance ibra2 mark mochibi one he is nicknamed by the way Wu Tang calls himself Mark Wu Tang. He got himself that name after falling in love with that Chinese movie. You know the Wu Tang family, Wu Tang clan. If you watch Chinese movies, Kung Fu movies in the past, you probably know about a Wu Tang clan in China. So he calls himself a member of the Wu Tang family. That's the name, Mark Wu Tang. Thank you for watching. Made love, you seem to be supporting Wotang. Dennis Matovu is asking who is better than Caesar. I want to answer that one, Alan. Jenna, you say the tablecloth is slow. No, it is not slow. It is a very good tablecloth. The table is also good. Ben and Lennon. Yes, thank you for watching. By the way, the other advantage with YouTube is that you don't need a YouTube channel to watch on YouTube while on Facebook you need a Facebook account to watch a video on Facebook so YouTube has some advantages over Facebook it is just that Facebook is a wider platform the spread spreads faster on Facebook than YouTube comic addict thank you for watching you want me to be your tour guide if I come to Uganda yes I would why not Betty Tabitha also thank you for watching and once again, welcome to the stream. I know you are looking both at the video and the flowers you received yesterday.
hope the flowers are not worn out by now. Because we streamed the game yesterday and you were nowhere to be seen. And yet you normally watch and it was suspicious why on Valentine's Day you are not anywhere. So yesterday flowers were better than pool to you, but it's okay. Mohez blessing, thank you for watching as Ibrahim Sejemba plays black for the third time in the match and sinks it in. It's like slow poison which kills its victims slowly but steadily. Mark after winning the first game has lost three in a row. It's now Ibra leading 3-1. Welcome to the stream, Mobs Mosh. <laughs> Magisha Josemi, John Bosco, Junior MJ, Felix Madzikana. Yes, a dry break from Ibra. Mark now knows better that Ibra is so far thinking better. He knows that when he gets a chance like this, he needs to take it away first time, and yet he fails even to close the table. So the winner of this match be it Ibra, be it Mark Mochibi will be taking on the winner of the match between Habib and Ivan K.
and Mark has been shown how to utilize half a chance given to you. The same game he failed to even close the table is the same game Ibra has finished in one visit. Ibra four, Mark one. In the meantime, this we are having the fourth and fifth games being streamed live on table one. There is another match between Emma Ryan and Joseph Kasozi. So far, Gomek is Alfred is that is black sheep through to the second round after defeating Eria Chimuli. Rather surprisingly, given Black Sheep's recent form compared to his opponent, and yet also Yuda Sembos Dembaba is through to the second round after defeating Elutaya Geoffrey 6 3. So the winner of this match confirmed will be taking on Habib Sebogozi. So the biggest likelihood given the events so far is Ibra versus Habib in the quarter finals. Also coming up is Pacquiao taking on Ibrahim Kayanja.
Mark is making the second decent attempt to win a frame in this match. And he knows better that against a, an opponent of Ibra's caliber, when you get an opportunity like that one, you must use it. Otherwise, he will use it against you. And Ibra himself must be on target here. And being on target, he exactly is. About now, 70 fans are at the venue watching. They are yet to be in the usual mood. Not the daily crowd seemingly of the place. It seems most of them are people who are still at work. These are people who have traveled from some places to come and watch this game. Otherwise, for the crowd that normally gathers around here to train and play and sip the night away, they will be shouting for every move Ibra makes. So far, their guy is now 5-1 up Very few players would put that ball Ibra has just spotted 
when there was a very good opportunity to play snooker. It is a sign of a player who is feeling confident. At this time, maybe Ibra became overconfident. It was a risky move. Maybe it's also inspired by the scoreline of 5 1. Maybe if it was 5 5, he would have played differently. Mark will now have to be on target. He must put simply rolling the ball, will do. No need complicating stuff here. The risk is not worth it. He rolls the ball. The white ball is just a little lacking. He has two options to put in the corner pocket either on the left or on the right. He seems to go for the corner pocket on the right. He will have to be perfect. He must sink in this one. He misses. And he misses by a big distance. He did not even try. The black ball did not contact with the jaw. He just hit the flat part of the cushion. He's not only playing unwell, he is so low on confidence. The best bet for Ebra will be to try and put that ball in the corner pocket closest to your screen. It is possible, but it won't come. It's a little distance between the black and white, but the pot is accurate. White ball is, unfortunately for him, potted in the same shot. The game is won by Mark. Maybe I will say it is lost by Ibra. Mark Mochevi 2, Ibrahim Sejemba 5, a race to 7. Another game is going on between Emma Ryan and Joseph Kasozi. The surprise score from that one after three games played is that Emma, the underdog, is 2-1 up against Kasozi. Winner of that match will take on Ibrahim Sejemba, while the winner of the match are watching will be taking on Habib Sebaguzi.
Apologies guys for that break in video as Ibra goes six two up. I had actually run out of data. I had run out of data. Those are the challenges I go through, but it's it's now okay. Ibrahim Sajemba two, Mark Ibrahim six, Mark two. And there is more of a surprise on the other stream, on the other game. Kasozi Joseph is down. 4-2 against Emma Ryan who is supposed to be maybe 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 the weakest player in the tournament and I'm using the word weak very carefully he leads 4-2 against Kasozi it's not yet done the race is 7 William Mansa asking where Mansur is he's at the venue he will be playing against Lawrence Sengonge Dangote, next game on the live stream, Nakaba Abu Beka Pakiao taking on Ibrahim Kayanja. That one will be more competitive than this one. Thank you. 
In the other match also ongoing, it is now 4-3 as Kasozi pulls to back Kasozi 3, Emma Ryan 4. Martin Turner Clive is asking the time when Hazard is playing. If I can observe the chat, Hazard will be taking on Jawad pretty soon. Maybe after one more session on both tables, then Hazard will be coming on with Jawad. Otherwise, on this table, where my camera is, we shall be having most likely Pacquiao and Mosinam. It could even be Mansur versus Dangote, depending on the game that the MC decides to bring to the table. It will be definitely one of those ones. So I think Wavik Abdallah answered you on that one. Ari Holaban wants to stake, but Caesar is not playing. He only stakes on Caesar. We shall be at Laban's Arena, Namulanda, this Sunday. Laban's 16 man competition, like this one, but that one is bigger in terms of the prize structure. So, all roads, Sunday, Laban's Arena, Namulanda. That's where we shall be. So, if you are in and around in Tebe Road, your Sunday is covered. Go and spend your Sunday there. But if you are far away, you will be watching the games here. Ibra is now playing for the kill. Tricky shot this one because there are not so many options for him to put the last ball, the red ball, the one which is in the center of the table near the yellow. Maybe the white ball will have to move the side where you see the black ball so such that he puts that red in the center pocket by his aim maybe that is what he's going for exactly but just a little less energy than what he wanted but for a player of his ability even this one is likely to be enough and yes it is enough for as long as he does the easy but most important thing of sinking this black ball in the center pocket Yes, he does. Ibrahim Sejemba 
defeats Mark Mochivi 72. It was late work done. He got through to the quarterfinals. He will take on Habib Sebuguzi in the early hours of the night. Thank you for watching. See you in the next game. Pacquiao versus Mosiram. Break and finish live Facebook.